Hi guys, Steph here again, and what we've got for your delight today is another gorgeous pen. What we've got here is a Parker Vacuumatic. Um, as we'll show you in a moment, this is what they term as lockdown filler. So it, it's it's one of the the earlier Parker Vacuumatic pens. This particular model, I believe, is the Parker Vacuumatic Junior. Now, the Vacuumatics they made, I don't know, around about 1932 um, through to 1938. Um, but saying that, them, them particular dates, I believe, um, apply to the, the USA. This particular one is made in Canada, and I believe uh, they carried on making the Vacuumatics a little bit longer uh, in Canada. So, as I say, what we've got is a Parker Vacuumatic Junior, it's a lockdown filler, it's in this beautiful celluloid, and it's a burgundy, like a burgundy marble, as you can see, absolutely beautiful. Um, the pen, actually, I bought it at a local antiques fair recently, it was a, in a very sorry state, um, I've literally just finished restoring it this morning, and as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, as you can see on this particular one, it's what they term as a double jeweled. And it comes with this gold filled, very recognisable Parker arrow clip to the top. It's got the two um, cap bands, thin cap bands to the bottom of the cap. And as you can see to the very bottom to the blind cap there, it's also got the bl black jewel and a little gold gold band around it. Now the size of this particular pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel is approximately 122 millimeters capped. Around the barrel here it's quite a nice chunky 12 millimeters in diameter so it's a nice chunky pen. It's very very nice. Now the imprint um, it's a little bit on the worn side so even though I'm trying to show it to you, I don't know if you'll be able to actually see it. I'll try and give you uh, different uh, angles, but um, it has the the normal vacuumatic imprint to the barrel. It says it it's made in Canada. It states that it's a Parker Parker vacuumatic. It's got the uh, registered trade uh, trademark number. And again, I'm not sure if you can actually see on this. On this particular example, because as I say, it's although it's legible, it's a little bit, little bit on the worn side. But to the end, it has um, the date letter or the date number, should I say? It's got a three, and what I believe, because it's slightly worn, is a seven next to it, which dates the pen to 1937, which um, actually, well. It, it relates to the to the nib on this particular one, so I'm dating it to around about 1937. Now, as I say, it's got this lovely, it's in this lovely marble celluloid, and the beauty about this particular pen, unfortunately, I find it very difficult to show you people, but it's got lovely transparency. So what I'm going to do, let's see if this makes any difference. So I've got this little light behind it. I don't know if, well yeah we can see slightly there you can actually see that it's it's got lovely transparency to the barrel okay so I don't know how clear that is showing on the video but I'm hoping you can see that so it's got a lovely lovely transparency to it so let's take off the the cap show you the pen in different angles an absolutely beautiful, beautiful example. A lovely, lovely pen. You can see the section there slightly concave. It's got this little ridge towards um, towards the nib to the top there. Um, if we show you the nib, let's keep it nice and uh, nice and still for you. Let's try and get the best angle for you. You can see it's got a single tone. It's a single tone nib with the the arrow to the center of the nib and the imprint actually reads 14 carat Parker Vacuumatic and then underneath uh, registered trademark and then below that it actually says made in Canada 
and the, well the number that you can't actually see because it's it's sort of within the section it has the number 37 to the bottom of the nib so again that relates I believe to the barrel imprint so we're dating as I said earlier we're dating it to 1937 if I turn it over for you there you can see it's got a lovely um, it's got the comb comb feed to the back there as you can see it's been fully cleaned the pen has been fully restored I've, uh, I've inserted a new diaphragm inside the pen uh, as I say an absolutely beautiful example I literally just finished it about an hour ago to fill these particular pens as we said earlier this one's a lockdown so it's got this blind cap to the bottom here if we actually just simply unscrew that okay so you can see on this particular model the earlier model had this quite a short blind cap and as I say the the filler on this one is a lockdown which means what you do you just simply give it a small turn and there you go and you can see the fill the filler sort of spring or the lockdown filler should I say just simply springs springs out like so and it locks well as it says it's a lockdown so when you pop it back and give it a turn it locks into place these fillers the lockdown is actually the earlier version after that they did the I think it was a speed line filler and then some of you people may have one with actually a plastic a plastic plunger but the lockdown as I say is the the earlier version let's bring on some ink I've not tested the pen so it's as good time as any to test it all we do simply dip the nib in the ink and just press down numerous times on the filler but in this particular case I'll just be quiet so I'm hoping you could hear that there was lots of sort of bubbling going on which is what we like to hear let's give the the nib a wipe and all we do at this point now is just simply push down on the filler and turn it like so let's pop the blind cap now what you people didn't see is actually below me here I've now got a blob of ink <laughs> so what I suggest you do uh, my mistake is when you're actually still got the the nib over over the ink bottle press the press the filler down at that particular point don't do what I've just simply done and move it away because it will blob and you'll get a blob of ink where you don't want it again you can't see it; it's just below but there we go that's all uh, part of the fun of these reviews so what we have here is a a Parker and as we said we've got the and again what looks like it's going to happen there it looks like it's going to blob oh don't you just love it when everything goes uh, goes to plan <laughs> so a vac vacuumatic as we said <coughs> excuse me we're dating this pen to 1937 it's what we term as a a lockdown filler which was actually the earlier version so again we can sort of date it to the 1937 because that's when they were actually in production a very nice writer it's writing with a fine line and a nice smooth writer it's very very nice let's just show you there we go there's a writing sample so as you can see writing with a fine line nice and smooth and a lovely writer and for a pen that's what 70 80 years old absolutely beautiful so let's keep it to that let's keep it nice and short because otherwise I'll I'll be chatting for forever so what we've got is a lovely Parker Vacumatic Junior double jeweled in this gorgeous burgundy marbled color with the transparency to to the barrel i hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen 
as always, as much as I love showing them to you people, don't forget, you're all very shy, leave a comment down below, and if you'd like to see more videos, subscribe here. But for now, all I'll say is bye-bye now.